Um, you know, the, the most common questions guys have been asking me is, well, how long is it going to take me? Is it like one of these three years or four years, like a regular lawsuit? Because a lot of times I represent guys in the line of duty, and those cases do take three years, four years before they're settled. The good news about the Zadroga Fund is that it's much, much faster, and it's not adversarial. So um, you, you submit a claim, you have to prove that you have a certified cancer or you know respiratory illnesses. Not everybody gets paid for cancer. They also pay big money for respiratory illnesses such as reactive airways disease, COPD, sinusitis, GERD. I think I heard one of the nurses talking about all these earlier. Uh, obviously, if you're ever found disabled under the lung bill, well then not only get compensated for your pain and suffering, but then you also get an, an additional award for your economic loss. I know everybody here has heard people getting millions of dollars. Let me tell you something, the only people getting millions of dollars are the young kids who are losing their careers at a young age. Um, but they are, many, many of my clients are getting significant hundreds of thousands of dollars if they lose their career in their 40s or their 50s. So I'm not, you know, I, I can't promise anything to anybody what you're likely to get, but it's certainly worth talking to an attorney to find out what your legal rights are. And unlike the first fund, you're not taking money away from widows. There's $7.3 billion that the government has put up. The only thing you have to agree to do is you have to waive your right to sue the city. But I really never loved the case against the city anyway, so I think it's something that everybody should consider taking advantage of. So most of the cases that I'm now submitting, I think I'm gonna get compensation for my clients within a year. The, the government has capped legal fees, by the way. The most any lawyer can charge you is 10%. Uh, and you just, whatever you guys get is tax-free. So there are a lot of good benefits, and as I said earlier, Medical care with VHS is always free, but if you end up moving to Florida or North Carolina, there's <laughs> medical care down there available, and that's free also. Um, the the Zadroga Compensation Act is supposed to close at the end of 2020. I don't know what's going to happen now after yesterday's election, whether or not this new Congress will be sympathetic to the first responders, because it's not just firefighters now. As you see in my flyer, it's all first responders, it's the construction workers, it's even the downtown residents and the office workers, because they were told the air is safe, and they were encouraged to reopen Wall Street, which they did, and they got sick too. Um, but just, again, education, spread 